how to test your argon electrodes. The electrode is a glass-filled tube with neutral gas inside. There are a few types of electrodes available. Neon-filled ones that glow bright orange, argon-filled ones that glow violet, and mixes of these gases that glow anywhere from white to red. Keep in mind that the color of the electrode does not have any effect on the treatment. The active element of the high frequency is the static spark that's produced by electrode when it touches the skin. The most popular ones are argon electrodes and we will test them today. There is the comb electrode, the spoon electrode next to it, the rod electrode with coil cold saturator, the mushroom electrode, the wide neck electrode, the roller electrode with a rotating barrel, and the rod electrode to treat blemishes. The electrodes are of a different shapes and they perform different. We will start with the high spark rod electrode. Make sure your device is turned off when inserting the electrode. Also, remember not to wear any metal objects such as jewelry and stay away from any metal items you can accidentally touch when using high frequency. Insert the electrode carefully. You can use a towel to hold the glass when inserting and removing it. This way, if you accidentally apply too much pressure and the glass cracks, it will protect your hands. After the electrode is inserted, Hold the end of it with one hand to ground it. Turn on the device and increase the intensity slowly. You can hear the buzz and may smell some ozone, but as you see, there is no glow of the electrode. Argon is hardly visible in the bright light, but if I turn my lights off, you can see a distinctive glow. Now, I'm going to remove my hand that holds the end of the electrode. As you see, the glow faded. It is normal because the current gets intensified when the electrode is in contact with the skin. Do not grab this electrode back when it is on. It produces a strong spark that is not really comfortable to feel if you're not prepared. This electrode is designed to treat small spots and blemishes when applied just for a few seconds at a time with a static spark. We continue with a spoon electrode. This electrode is to be used on small areas such as under the eyes, upper lids, nasolabial folds, lower and upper lip. Do not use this electrode on highest intensity settings when treating delicate areas to avoid the spark. That applies also to the actual use of the electrode. Touch the skin with it first and then, without breaking the contact, turn on the device. The other way is to ground it first using your finger, turn the device on, and then remove the finger as the electrode is placed on treated area. To test, grab the end of the electrode and then turn the device on. The same as with the first electrode. It does produce the buzzing sound, but I'm not able to see the glow unless the lights are off. 
when I remove my hand, the glow fades. Next electrode is the mushroom shape. It is designed for a general massage on the larger areas, cheeks, neck, and forehead. The testing technique is the same. Ground an electrode first and then turn the device on. To see the glow, turn off the lights in your room. When I remove my hand from the tip of the electrode, the glow fades. Another electrode is Y-shaped, wide electrode. It is larger electrode to be used on the neck, arms, breasts and legs. We test it in the same way, holding the end of the electrode and turning the power on. There is a buzz and the glow if the lights are on. It produces some spark but not as much as the previous electrode, so I will remove my hand and then touch the electrode back again to demonstrate the spark. As you see, the current is attracted to my fingers. Whenever I touch the electrode, the glow intensifies. Next electrode is the saturator. It is strictly professional electrode. It is used to perform the Viennese massage. The client holds the electrode and the operator performs the massage with both hands, basically grounding the current through client's body. This massage is good for relaxation and delicate stimulation as there is no static charge involved directly. We test this electrode the same way. Ground first, turn it on and check the glow in the dark. Now we would test the comb electrode. This is a low spark electrode and when grounded you can see that the current distributes along the body of the electrode first. But when I move my fingers to the teeth of the comb, they start to glow. This electrode is designed to be used on the scalp to stimulate hair follicles. As soon as the comb touches the skin, the current will move from the body of the electrode to its teeth. If not in contact, the glow fades. The last electrode is the roller electrode. This electrode has almost no spark. It is designed for a general massage for those who cannot tolerate the static. The testing technique is the same. Hold the barrel of the electrode and turn the device on. Observe the glow in a dark room. When I remove my hand, you can see that even in the dark, the drum has almost no glow. However, if I grab it again, it brightens up, but there is no spark observed. In the bright lit room, the glow is not visible.
If you have any questions about the electrodes or their use, please do not hesitate to contact me spa at support at new hyper spa dot us.